Hey, what's up, guys? Savage Toby here, and I just got finished watching the Seaton stream of the um, Abyss of Legends initial, and jeez, I watched like I think the whole thing. I was watching it like in school, six hours in total. It was crazy, and when I do the Abyss, because I'm going to for the completion, like there's two, th there's a few things I'm needed. So. The team that I'm thinking of right now is Aegon and Sim Supreme. Because these two guys literally do like pretty much 99% of the fights. If you watch the stream, his Dr. Doom and his Aegon did like everything except for a few fights. But there's two fights that I'm like, I don't know about, well there's one fight I'm not really worried for and there's one fight that I'm really worried for. One of them is... Mephisto, because I think I'm going to be taking the same lane as the end. That seems like the easiest one. And for Mephisto, I could bring, like, a number of options. Um, I could bring Blade, Captain America, Colossus, Sunspot. Right now I'm thinking, probably Blade, honestly. Because um, I think he'd be a cool counter for that fight. Blade's just, yeah, I think I'd probably use Blade. So we got that fight. And then the fight that I'm pretty much worried for, and then we also have Ghost, because, you know, Ghost will always help somehow. The fight that I'm worried for to do this is, if you watch Seat in the stream, um, right before the Collector in Call Obsidian, there was an invisible woman with a node that basically is like, every time she passes a bar power, she, you get, she puts a power sting on you. And basically... You take damage by throwing a special, or you get stunned. And honestly, you kind of like need Nick Fury for that fight, unless you're trying to unit through it. And I'm thinking like, I might wait until we're probably gonna have this team right here, and then we're gonna run Nick Fury if we ever get him. And the other thing we need is like, I'm gonna be saving up units like really hard like all my battle chips and everything just like saving um i just did a whole bunch of pass in 6.3 so my units get destroyed but if i save up i'm saying five thousand to six thousand units we'll save up to or if we never get nick fury i might just go to like 10k units and then just like spam or five through that invisible woman because like She's, she's, like, the one fight I'm, like, worried for on this whole path. Pretty much, like, 95% of the fights is either going to be Aegon or my Sim Supreme. Because Doctor Doom in the stream was so useful. And I think almost every fight I saw Doctor Doom do, Sim Supreme could do. Maybe even better in some of them, I don't know. But Sims, you just, like, after watching that stream, like, you need a good nullify mystic god for, um... Abyss, and it's pretty much either Doctor Doom or Symbiote Supreme, because what's her name? Clairvoyant probably is not gonna be good for um, the Abyss, in my opinion, because you have two hundred forty hits max, and and on top of that, what was I gonna say? Yeah, and her special two does a lot of hits, and she doesn't even hit that hard in the first place. So, so yeah, tell me what you guys think. I'm gonna be grinding the fuck out of Arena, just getting those units out. Hardy, if you look at the arena, because um, I got max milestones, and the three star, the five star, and then almost the four star, I just gotta do like one more run, and I haven't done the six star, I might do the extra grind to go to the, for the six star, but if you look at the abyss, what is it, the abyss of legends, you look at the rewards, you get 20,000 six star shards, seven tier two alpha, Three tier five basic, which is all good, a million gold, all that good stuff. But these two crystals right here is like what makes it like insane. Like you get a six star awakening gem, and let me just show you why this is crazy. Because if you look at my six star roster, if it wants to scroll, every class I pretty much have someone I would use it on, except for like Mystic, uh, Science, Void, Skill, Aegon, uh, what's it called, Mutant, Havoc, Cosmic, Corvus, Tech, Ghost. And then Mystic would be kind of bad. And then you also get a tier 5 class Catalyst Crystal. If I get Cosmic or Tech, 
Oh my god, that'll be so beautiful. Like, Ghost or Corvus rank 3. Oh my god, that's crazy. So I'm thinking of saving up to five to 6,000. Maybe more, just to be in the safe side. If you look at my inventory, we have... We have two five-star Wiccan gem crystals. Um, and then what else? We got one mutant one. So if we need any of the... Oh, and fourth skill, but we probably won't use that. Well, if we get Nick Fury, yeah, we got four scale. We can slap one. And then if we look, um, where is it? We got eight of the 30, so that's eight hours right there. So we'll be pretty good. Three of the 25, which we probably need to get more of, but we get 10 of the 20, so it's not that bad. And then where is it? Oh, we need to get more. We'll have the 15 ones running, but we probably want to. I probably need to buy more of these in the glory store, or loyalty store, whatever it is. And then for signature stones, text, like the only one I really have five star six stones for. So if we pull like a, what's it called, like a Warlock? Actually, I don't think these will be used really at all. We have a, I mean, none of these, we have two revives right now, but we're gonna need to get more of those. We're gonna be also, like, when I know I'm gonna probably be going for it soon. And the final collector boss, he wasn't as bad as I thought. He's really bad, obviously, you're gonna have to spam revive, but he like, you can survive a few special attacks, which was the, the problem with the 5.21 because it was unblockable. And you, the block damage is not as bad. The, the overall attack in Abyss isn't that bad, which is cool. And for Realm of Legends, I'm literally going to like get so many potions before going in because none of the fights you really need potions for except for like the Collector just to get them topped up so you can take a few special blocks. And then Aegon, just do the heavy counter thing. You can just get them down eventually. So, yeah, that's probably going to be the plan. So, like, the biggest thing stopping me from grinding so hard and then just going in, like, a few months or, like, a few weeks, whatever it is, is that Invisible Woman boss. And I have the list right here. I have a list. So, first, it would be Thing, Omega Red, Quake, Medusa. Are those first four, pretty easy. Mephisto would be kind of annoying, but Blade, they would probably just knock through it. I, I'm not too worried about that. Captain Marvel movie has six mil. She's a tank. Okay, because I was writing down the names of each boss as I was watching. Then Ghost, Iron Man, Infinity War is going to be pretty hard, but yeah, I mean, Aegon could do it. Joe Fix It, six million. He's a big boy. Mordo, he's also, meh. And then I'm supposed to go down, because that's when the first four can work up. And then Venom the Duck and Howard the Duck, both six million. They're both tanks, like massive. Hyperion's next. And then we go left, and then we're going to get ambushed by a champion. And then we go left again um, for another turn. We get the Cyclops for 6 mil health, a Loki for 6 mil health. And we get the Aegon fight, which is, like, easy. Then Invisible Woman, that's, like, the main problem fight, honestly. Not even the Collector for me. And then Call Obsidian, 6 mil, but he's so easy to take down with, like, any Mystic God. And then, finally, the Collector, who actually only has 4 million health, not 6 million, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, I'm thinking this team right here can do it. I just, if I don't, what's it called, like, um, see, the problem with, um, what's her name, Invisible Woman, is if you have to take the damage, um, it would be fine, but the problem is she starts off in with her, um, what's it called, like, shield mode active, where you do 200,000 damage just to knock that shield down, which is absurd, like, you, I don't know, I really don't know what I'm gonna do for that final scene. I might just egg on through it, honestly. Um, but getting Nick Fury would be like the dream. And then one other thing that I haven't mentioned is, after watching it, I realized that for Abyss, since there's like a lot of fights you have to use Mystic for, probably gonna have to take off suicides and invest in like f four out or five out of five. Um, mystic dispersion i already have three points in it but i need to get more of the mystic things to unlock the fourth and fifth tier i already have three of a three to spare but i would probably have to take up suicide for my run which would kind of suck but ghost i mean i don't really know what use ghost gonna is gonna bring for this if i can pull like a doctor doom that would be insane i would drop ghost for doctor doom Wait, where's doctor doom Three star Doctor Doom. Where is my man at? There he is. And we also get three star Nick Fury. Or five star. Well, imagine these guys are five stars. 
Uh, this right here, without looking at the stars, this is the dream team. And if I could have dropped Blade for Human Torch, but I don't have a Human Torch to take down the um, Mephisto. So I think this is like the dream team right here, honestly. Two Mystic Gods, you get Aegon, Nick Fury, and then someone, Blade, Human Torch, someone to deal with that Mephisto boss. I mean, there's a lot of options for the Mephisto boss. I'm not also, another really cool thing about this that I was watching is none of the main problems that would like would normally problems, like for example, like Champion or Mephisto, they don't have any like persistent charges, so there's never going to be a heal phase for him. And for um, Champion, I don't think he had any persistent charges, he never go unstoppable. But with Sim Supreme, I don't think I'm going to have to worry about that even. But yeah, right now the main struggle is trying to get a 5-star Nick Fury. If I can get Nick Fury, that's pretty much the dream right there. And I need to get him awakened, so I really don't want a 6-star right now, because I need to get him awakened, and I can easily awaken him, awaken him as a 5-star. I got 4 skill gems and 2 basics. That's I'll be fine to awaken him if I get him, and I'm glad to give him 1 skill gem, because I have like so many. And... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna grind arena, get up to like maybe 10k units. If I never, I'm probably gonna grind up to like 10, 15k units, and then if I don't have Nick Fury by then, we're just gonna tank through it. So yeah, tell me what you guys think. Um, what's your plan for Abyss of Legends? Cause this is gonna be one big task. But these two crystals right here are so beautiful, so beautiful. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.